Welcome to the Liquidware Advisor Series. Today we'll be talking about profile disks. I'm Tom Wynn and I've been implementing end-user computing solutions for the past 20 years. Question is why profile disks? If you're running in a VDI non-persistent environment, you don't necessarily want your OST files from Outlook Office 365 and OneDrive to download every single time a user or a group of users logs in because that's not really efficient to your storage and your hypervisor subsystem. So with profile disk, we'll be able to reroute that information out to a network share that's allowing you to only download deltas um, and new information once, once users log in. And I'm gonna walk you through that process. At Liquidware, we highly advise you use the wizard in order to do so. Therefore, with the wizard, your portability settings are are truly optimized and working as efficiently as possible and I'm going to walk you through that you just go to create guided and then you want to select as a desktop profile disk with all the operating systems in included so we click next uh, we select the home share so that's going to be And there you have it. We click next here. And then here you'll see you've got your profile disk group. I've already assigned one here and the and the path is as so. As far as the formats, you want to make it expandable. That way it's then provisioned and it won't eat up space when it doesn't necessarily need to. Say yes here client has been deployed. I'm going to skip the GPO because I've already created the GPO, but here's where you would go to assign your profile unity group policy settings. And this is where you're going to confirm where you want to download your deployment path to and you click finish. So once that completes, now you have a fully configured profile disk configuration out in your environment, which will handle what's needed. And as you can see, the portability settings are all created for you based upon our specifications. And if you would like, you can go in and change the name. Thanks for watching this Liquidware Advisor installment. If you have questions, you can contact our team by emailing info at liquidware.com or by visiting liquidware.com for more information.